It really shouldn't be a surprise that more and more people with Hashimoto's thyroiditis, as well as other hypothyroid conditions, are turning to natural treatment methods. While millions of people continue to take synthetic and natural thyroid hormone on a daily basis, many people are simply getting sick of taking pills to manage their symptoms. Obviously, in some cases, this is necessary. On the other hand, many people with Hashimoto's thyroiditis who are told they need to take thyroid hormone forever have actually restored their health naturally. In case if you haven't noticed, people in general are slowly becoming more aware of their health and are making strides towards improving it through diet, exercise, and nutritional supplementation. While the drug industry is still booming, the same can be said for alternative health care. In addition to taking better care of their health, more and more people are seeing alternative doctors such as holistic medical doctors, chiropractors, naturopaths, acupuncturists, and other holistic health care practitioners. The reason why natural treatment methods work so well with many people who have Hashimoto's thyroiditis is because these treatment methods try to address the actual cause of this autoimmune thyroid disorder rather than just manage the symptoms. Of course, some natural doctors will simply use natural methods to manage the symptoms, such as natural thyroid hormone. But what many competent natural doctors are finding out is that while the thyroid gland is of course being affected in these people, it usually is not the primary cause of the condition. For better understanding, let's take the example of someone who has an infection and as a result has a high fever. One can choose to treat the fever and be successful in lowering it through medication. However, in this example, it would obviously be beneficial to address the actual cause of the fever, which is the infection. By successfully treating the infection, you will get rid of both the cause and the symptoms. The same holds true for many cases of Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Many people think of this condition as being a thyroid disorder when it really is a serious autoimmune condition that affects the thyroid gland. So comparing this to the infection fever example, the autoimmune component frequently affects the production of thyroid hormone, which results in the hypothyroid symptoms. In other words, the weakened immune system is what causes problems with the thyroid gland. So as is the case with treating the fever, treating the thyroid gland usually won't do anything for the cause of the condition. To summarize what I said above, many people with Hashimoto's thyroiditis can successfully manage their symptoms by taking synthetic or natural thyroid hormone for the rest of their lives. But if they want to try to restore their health to normal, then the immune system component of the disorder must be addressed. As you may have guessed, this involves strengthening the immune system, which is a big challenge. Some people think that simply taking an immune system support formula and or antioxidants from their local health food store is enough to strengthen their immune system. Unfortunately, it is usually not this easy. What can make this even more complex is that in order to strengthen the immune system, you first need to find out what weakened it in the first place. For example, many people have chronic stress, which oftentimes will cause problems with the adrenal glands, and over time this can actually weaken the immune system. So in this example, one would have to not only address the weakened immune system, but the actual cause of the weak immune system, which in this case is the adrenals. Sometimes other issues can lead to a weakened immune system, such as problems with digestion and the gastrointestinal tract. Other times it might be due to a hormone problem. So it can be a big challenge to find the cause of the weakened immune system. This is why it is not recommended that people with Hashimoto's thyroiditis self-treat their condition naturally. Sure, it might save you some money in the short term, but the odds of you receiving optimal results are very slim. The problem is that everyone is different and as a result will need a different natural treatment protocol. And as I mentioned earlier, some people can't have their health completely restored to normal. For example, someone who had their thyroid gland completely removed will most likely need to be on some form of thyroid hormone for the rest of their lives. Now this doesn't mean that someone who falls under this category can't be helped through natural treatment methods. In fact, people with Hashimoto's thyroiditis who have had their thyroid gland removed still need to strengthen their immune system and have other areas of their health addressed that might have caused their condition to develop. So while they probably won't be able to completely restore their health back to normal, they can still use natural treatment methods to dramatically improve their health and prevent future conditions from developing. Plus, let's not forget that we're dealing with a serious autoimmune disorder. As a result, it is highly recommended that you consult with a competent natural doctor that has experience treating your condition and not take any risks trying to treat such a disorder on your own. 
In many cases, nutritional supplements and or herbal remedies can be beneficial. Of course, the quality of the supplements used is important. You need to be careful as while there are some great nutritional supplement companies out there, many companies produce low quality products. Even some of those sold in health food stores aren't of the best quality. I have tried products from many different companies and some of the best products I have used on myself and on patients are produced by a company called Standard Process as they have been producing quality supplements for many years. And as I just mentioned, it's best to consult with a natural endocrine doctor rather than just take supplements and herbs on your own. Even though supplements can help, not everyone needs to take the same ones and different people require different dosages as well. Now I don't want to give you the impression that taking nutritional supplements and herbal remedies alone will be enough to restore your health back to normal. There are actually five main factors to help aid in the recovery process for someone that has an autoimmune thyroid disorder. These include having a good attitude, proper nutrition, getting ample sleep, regular exercise, and doing a good job of managing stress. All of these are important if you want to use natural treatment methods to address the cause of your condition and to restore the function of your thyroid gland back to normal, assuming this is possible. As for whether natural treatment methods can help with your autoimmune thyroid disorder, just keep in mind that everyone is different, which of course means that not everyone will be an ideal candidate to receive these treatment methods. I will conclude this presentation by suggesting that anyone that has been diagnosed with Hashimoto's thyroiditis at least consider speaking with a competent natural doctor as it just might be possible to restore the function of your thyroid gland back to normal and not have to take thyroid hormone for the rest of your life. While the thyroid hormone you're taking might be doing a good job in managing your symptoms, having a compromised immune system and possibly other weakened areas of your body will most likely result in the development of other conditions in the future. And just remember that consulting with a natural doctor doesn't mean that you will be forced to choose a natural treatment protocol, but will simply give you more valuable information to help you make an informed decision so you won't have any regrets in the future. For more information on how to treat Hashimoto's thyroiditis naturally, please visit naturalendocrinesolutions.com where you can get a free guide entitled The Six Steps on How to Treat Graves Disease and Hashimoto's Thyroiditis Through Natural Methods. This guide contains 100% pure content and is not a sales pitch for any product or service. Thanks for watching this presentation.